Big cats play um, a hugely important role in the ecosystem. They are a really key function in the natural food chain. And so if, for example, all big cats were to disappear, then all of their prey species would grow in abundance and they would grow to unnatural levels. And then um, they would overforage, they would overgraze, and they would start to overeat populations of animals that could have an important ecosystem function. For our project, we are researching five species of big cats that occur in this area. Um, and those are the margay, the puma, the ocelot, the jaguar, and the jaguarundi. So for our study, we want to see what are the habitat preferences of these cats and of their prey um, to better understand what they need and how we can help conserve them. A couple of times a week, one of our staff members will go out on a survey with a couple of volunteers and we're looking for any signs of animal. So that would be um, footprints is the most common occurrence or if we see any hairs or scratch marks on a tree or of course if we see the animal itself. We have a list of 18 animals that we study. That includes the big cats, the five big cats, and then also um, a number of animals that are known to be prey to these cat species. So if we see a footprint, um, then we will measure the length of the footprint and the width um, and we'll look at the direction of travel and then we'll note down what habitat um, the animal was in. For our camera trap project, I think it's one of our most exciting projects that we're running. We have five camera traps of our own that we have put out on a couple of our trails um, and camera traps are a great resource for studying animals because they're sitting out there with absolutely no human disturbance so you can see the animals as they would actually behave rather than if we were to spot an animal and they would behave differently based on our prevalent presence. We put the camera traps on a number of our trails and then we take a look at the footage separately and we see what animals we spotted and we mark down on what habitats we see which animals. The most common species that we tend to see on both camera trap and in person would be the ocelot. We had a really exciting sighting just a few days ago of an ocelot. Two staff members saw it as they were walking down the road and they just saw it in the foresty bit right to the side. Um, and that was really cool, not only because they got to see a big cat, which is pretty incredible, but also it was quite informative um, to us from a scientific perspective. It tells us a lot to say that ocelots will um, roam and hunt and forage in disturbed habitats. So on our camera trap we got a mother ocelot and her cub um, and this camera trap was situated only a couple hundred meters from our campsite on one of the dry riverbeds. So we got to see that there is a little family of ocelots um, living in this area. Big cats are facing a number of threats in this area. I think if I had to choose the largest threat to cat species, it would be deforestation. Between mining and agriculture um, and general development and the increased tourism industry, so increase in building lodges, um, there's a lot of destruction of habitat and forest habitat, and it can make it very difficult for big cats to live and particularly cohabitate with people.